today with this makeup look and I am so obsessed with the way this look turned out. It is the perfect everyday bronzy but glowy summer makeup look. This is probably most likely definitely going to become my everyday makeup look. It's easy, it's fast, and my skin just looks incredible, you guys. I was on my Explore page on Instagram just looking for some inspiration, trying to see what makeup look I was going to film for you guys, and I came across this picture from Patrick Ta, and I loved that makeup look. It was so effortless, so beautiful. I spent like a whole day just researching Patrick Ta and researching his techniques, how he likes to apply makeup, his placement on everything. I mean, I am not 100% sure I did everything exactly how he did it, but I tried my best and I am just completely in love with the way that this look turned out, honestly. Um, freaking sets. If you want to see how to get this glowy summer everyday bronzy kind of look that you can still see your skin through, like peek through, then definitely go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so we are going to be starting off with skin prep. This is so important for this makeup look, so you definitely don't want to skip it. I am taking the Delicate Serum and I'm just going to apply that all over my entire face. Next, we need to moisturize. I am taking the Delicate Cream and I'm just going to apply this all over the skin as my moisturizer. And of course, don't forget your neck. Since this is an everyday kind of summer look, you definitely don't want to forget your SPF. So I am going in with my Bare Republic Mineral Sunscreen. Next, I am going to prime and condition my brows using the new Benefit Eyebrow Primer. Taking any concealer, this one is the YSL All Hours Concealer, but like I said, any concealer will do the trick. I am going to apply it all over the eyelids just to prime for eyeshadow and then I'm blending it out using a damp sponge. Moving on to eyeshadow, I am going to be taking the Friendcation Palette from Dose of Colors in collaboration with Desi and Katie. And I am taking the second to darkest brown. I don't remember the name of this shade because I have used this palette so much the name has literally rubbed off but you just want to take any medium tone brown and you just want to slap that all over the lid and blend it out in the crease the messier you applied this product the better because a good thing about this makeup look is that it does not have to be perfect I'm going to be taking the lightest brown that's in the palette and using a fluffy brush, I am just going to focus this on the outer edges of that first shadow to make sure that they're nice and blended out. I am then going to be taking the matte cream shade that's in the palette and taking a flat shader brush. I am just going to apply this in the inner corner of the eyes just to bring back some lightness back into the eye. You then want to go ahead and line your waterline using your favorite brown eye pencil. I am using Costa Riche by MAC. Taking that first shade that we applied all over the lid using a pencil brush, I am just going to smoke this out in the lower lash line and make sure to really smudge it with that brown liner to create a more smoky effect. You then want to go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just make sure that you remove any excess fallout. Since I want my skin to be nice and hydrated, I am going in with a face oil. This one is the Rejuvenique Oil by Monet, but feel free to use any oil and this is going to be our primer. For foundation, I am going in with the YSL All Hours Foundation in the shade BD35 because I am a little bit more fair at the moment and I'm blending that out using my Tarte Flawless Airbrush Foundation Brush and once I have that almost blended out to my liking, I'm going to go in with a beauty sponge just to make sure that everything is really blended and seamless and just to really push that product further into the skin. I'm going to go back in with my YSL All Hours Concealer and I'm just going to conceal my under eyes down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the chin and also up in the forehead. Now the key to this look is to use very little product so don't go too crazy with your concealer. I'm going to go ahead and then take a brush and I'm just going to blend it out as much as I can using a brush. And once I have it nice and blended and kind of spread out, then I'm going to go in with the beauty sponge and really push and further blend that product into the skin. 
Moving on to cream contour, you want to take any contour shade. I am taking the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Warm Almond and I'm going to be placing this on the hollows of the cheeks, also up in the forehead and I am just going to be running this on the nose. I don't want a super structured nose contour today, I just kind of want an overall bronzy look. And again, I'm going to go back in with that beauty sponge and push all of the products further into the skin. Next, you wanna go ahead and take any powder of your choice, any translucent powder. I am using the Givenchy powder in rose, and the reason for that is because I know Patrick Ta uses this powder quite a lot. So I am just taking this under the eyes using a beauty sponge, and then I'm just going to dust off the excess powder using a brush, and then I'm gonna take my beauty sponge, and I'm just going to push that powder in the T-zone because that is where I get oiliest oiliest and that is where I get the most oil and then I'm going to take a beauty sponge and I'm just going to do a little bit of baking in the outer corners of the eyes down the bridge of the nose and of course the bottom half of my face Next up, you want a bronze. I am taking my Alamad Complexion Trio in medium and I'm going to take a mixture of the two bronzer shades that are in that palette. And I am going to gently tap that into the skin on the areas where we previously creamed contour. You wanna make sure that you tap the product in and not move the foundation underneath. Moving on to blush, I am taking the Alamad Cosmetics blushes in the medium tone and these blushes are so pigmented, I completely forgot how pigmented they were, but that's okay because I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to push that into the skin just a little bit more and I'm also pushing in the bake that we have in the skin, so I'm just going to melt that into the skin and make sure that everything is nice and set and then I'm going to take whatever I have left on my brush with blush and just run that on the nose. For highlight, I am going in with a cream highlighter. This one is from Lottie London in the shade Glow and I'm applying that on the tip of the nose, down the bridge of the nose, and on the tops of the cheekbones. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to eyebrows. Now, I do have an in-depth eyebrow tutorial that I will have linked down below and up in the cards if you want to check out. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to lashes. Now, this is all totally up to you. You can apply mascara, you can apply falsies. I decided to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then I went in with some individual lashes just to add in a little something. Moving on to the lips, I am going to start off by lining my lips and I am just using any brown lip liner. I believe this one is from KKW Beauty and I'm going to line the lips and I'm also going to be filling in my lips. By the way, let me know if you want me to do an eyelash video on how I apply lash strips or individual lashes because I think that would be a really good video and I would love to film that for you guys. So moving on, I am going to fill in the lips a little bit further and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver. It's the most perfect nude brown shade. Okay, so this is it. This is a completed look and what do we think? I am completely in love with this look. I hadn't done brown eyeliner in my lower lash line in what feels like years. My skin, you can see the freckles, you can see some imperfections, and I'm actually okay with that. Like, I'm actually loving how my skin looks. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look powdery, it looks like my skin, but with just like a touch of makeup, which is, I think we all like that look. You know, we wanna be able to wear a lot of makeup, but it not looking like it's a lot of makeup. And that is exactly what we, I think, achieved in today's video. So yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Also, let me know down in the comments what other videos do you guys want me to film? Let me know. Do you want a foundation routine? Do you want another makeup tutorial just let me know a haul whatever you want to see from me let me know down in the comments that helps me out a lot when i sit down to film so i love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah.